How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be completing a sleeve that I started on my client Moose, and I am excited to finally wrap it up. And, uh, <laughs> the only part that we have left is the inner bicep. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Damn. Three zero, that's it. Eesh. No way. Yeah, what a journey, bro. You had a journey. <laughs> that's not good, bro. So where was it snowing? It was snowing where, where in Canada or here? Yeah, like where I where like from my airport, but uh. that's not why it was delayed. It was just like late. Cause I got to the airport and then I had to go through security again. Uh -huh. I get to customs, like Dude, my plane is boarding. Like it's been boarding for 20 minutes. Can I like go to the front? And they're like, nah, we don't do that anymore. It was it a direct flight from Canada to here? To, I, I to, always have, all you I have to go to Toronto. To all I you have to go to Toronto, Toronto. Yeah. and from Toronto to Cause here. Cause my airport sucks. <laughs> well, first thing is first, I'm gonna shave your whole arm. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Could have done that for sure. Actually, just looks so different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like HD. H look, but look at all this hair though. Yeah. <laughs> Man, your the black on your skin looks insane. It's just like solid black. I'm just so white. <laughs> Some video games do to you. <laughs> so you are taking a break right now? Yeah, we're on. Because a bunch of my teammates are American, so American mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Oh, right. There's Canadian Thanksgiving, but it, it was like a month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. When is that? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what was under there? It was uh, Tree. trees. Oh. Yeah. I remember them trees. Just trees going up oh, the, the form. Flowers. Person that I'm tattooing is Caleb, better known as Moose. But the show stopper gets to no fucking way, Moose does it! I'm excited. Yeah, what are you guys working on now? The inner. Where? Oh. Just the last part of the sleeve. Don't, don't make that face, <laughs> bro. Don't make that face. <laughs> don't. That's the same it's yeah. comfortable. That's the same face that people at the airport made when I said, yo, you think I'm going to make my flight? Uh. They made that same face. <laughs> Did you miss your flight? No. No, almost. it was delayed. I had oh. to sprint through the airport. Oh. My first one was delayed, so then I had like a 30 minute. Yeah, am I connected? But I had to go through security and customs, no. and they wouldn't like put me to the front of the line. No. So then I was sprinting through the airport and I lost my AirPods. Oh. Yeah. And then the four hour flight had no TV and I had no AirPods, so <laughs> it's fucked. Just four well, hours. It ends there. It ends, it ends, there. There. It ends there. there. All right, here we go. Let's put on this uh, exquisite extensol. This is the one. Full fit. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing the inner bicep today and that's pretty much the only spot we got left to complete this full sleeve and he's been avoiding this <laughs> this yeah. displacement uh, just because uh, obviously it, it can be a little painful but you never know. You might not feel it at all. You never know. Um, the way I'm gonna approach it, it is basically uh, doing the, the body first. And I wanna do probably the background before I do the helmet, just because I wanna see how bright I can make that helmet look. And, but, if, but if anything, I might switch it up last minute. It all depends on how I'm navigating, but I think that's gonna be my approach. Oh, let's go.
as of right now, I want to slowly create the glare on the glass here, slowly. I wasn't really liking the audio uh, when I was recording this live, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just explain what I'm doing here. And what I'm basically doing is with my 11 curve mag, I'm pretty much just treating it like the drop system just because I feel like this part of the helmet requires really soft shading and I wanted it to glow as much as possible. So here I'm just improvising. This is not on my reference. What I'm doing is just being spontaneous. I'm just adding things to the this part of the helmet that will help me to make it pop a lot more. My reference uh, pretty much just, it was a lot more flat and it looked good on the picture, but the shading made the helmet look so flat on the picture that I felt like if I was to even do that on skin, it wouldn't translate the same way. So that's why I'm pretty much just being spontaneous, adding the glare where I think it will look good. And I did practice one day before to kind of give me a better idea of what I was gonna do. So I was prepared to, um, just create as I was tattooing. Uh, all I'm using is a solid black and my plan is to do the bottom of this helmet as dark as possible. That way I give it a round shape and I'm gonna leave the top of the helmet super bright that way uh, it looks like the, the, the stars or the um, like a bright light is hitting the top of that helmet. Here what I'm doing is adding uh, shading to the helmet, that way it uh, I create another type of glare to make it look like there's a lot more objects around the space. Another thing that I wanted to add is that with my client's uh, skin tone, the inner bicep just look extremely uh, super light skin, uh, pale, white kind of tone. So that is why I'm not using a lot of grays on the glass area, on, on the glass part of the helmet, because I wanted it to be more of that natural look of his own skin. That way, whenever it heals, it's gonna look so bright because his skin is already it, it already glows. So I definitely don't want to take that away, and uh, because it is helping me, it's, it's working on my favor to uh, to leave that skin open on this area. So whenever it heals, that's gonna look so bright. It's gonna look extremely like a big glare on that on the helmet. So that is why I decided to just do solid black and take my time to really fade it out, super soft shading. And yes, uh, as I'm doing it, I'm realizing that I made the right call and I'm really happy the way it's coming out because as you can see right now, the top of the helmet right now, it just looks like it's glowing. So that was my, um, that was the goal for this uh, part of the piece. <laughs>
I am currently recording from my computer because my room is a mess right now. My backpack, it's unorganized. My microphones are dead. My batteries are dead. I don't, I can't even find anything. My memory cards, I don't know. It's a mess right now in here. It's been, it's, a lot has been going on lately. But I did want to say thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. And I did want to make an announcement. I made a Twitch and I am so excited for this because, uh, it is a brand new chapter for me and uh, I'm just excited to see what I'm going to do with it. All I know at the moment is that, that I'm going to be streaming myself tattooing and I'm going to be able to talk to you guys. Uh, you guys are going to be able to ask me questions. So you guys are going to be able to see behind the scenes and see how I'm recording my videos and you guys are going to see close up of what I'm tattooing and if you're a tattoo artist, you can ask me questions through it and if you're a client, uh, and if you're looking on, uh, you know, getting a tattoo by me, I'm going to be answering emails live as well. Uh, I'm just excited for this new chapter. And uh, uh, if you guys want to, if you guys are interested in uh, seeing that content, go ahead and follow me on Twitch and hopefully you guys like my content. And uh, so with that being said, um, anything else? Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.